Oh, smells good. I just had a shower, put a little beard cream in. <laughs> Went on my moustache and now that's smelling good too. Hello, as if you didn't know who it is. It's your old pal, Carl Welshman, and we're doing a fucking beer review. And today we're going to be looking at Tiny Rebel, 11th birthday, coffee and popcorn, slow drip stout coming in at 10%. Not enough beer or popcorn in your affogato. Strong coffee and delicious hot and fresh popcorn are mixed in this slow fermented stout. Belgian chocolate, Welsh popcorn, and extract coffee. What else could you need? <laughs> Other than a biscuit. <laughs> Very excited about this. It's sat in my fridge for quite a while. And if I'm going to be honest with you, it's a week or two past its best before date on the bottom of the tin year. But I'm not... I'm not massively worried. I don't think I'm going to end up with anything. And I don't think it'll have a massive impact on the flavour. Um, but it's one of those ones where, you know, it's one of those beers where you know you're probably not going to be able to get it again anyway. So you're sort of keeping it for a special occasion. So I've just come back today after two weeks of very much needed holiday away from in my home life in general. Just back from Wales visiting the family, having a lovely little wand around the green, green grass of home. Flew in today, just dodged the fucking storm. Thought I was going to be flying in a storm. I don't fly. I don't fly. I don't like flying, and I don't fly. I don't like flying at the best of times. So, knowing that there was a storm, I was shitting myself, if I'm being honest with you. And I'm always honest with you. Let's get this open. Hoping that we've got no dirtiness, no dirty problems here. Let's have a look, a little random crumb on the top of the tin there. Pop this open. Tiny Rebel, as I've said before, when it comes to their random beers that they do, particularly their birthday specials, they tend to taste fucking amazing, like proper cakey. Oh, smelling good. Smelling good. And smell quite a bit of alcohol. But. Smooth pour. It's a smooth. Pour that like a beer. Maybe this should be a head. We've got a little bit of a head forming on there. A little bit of a head, but. It's very stouty. I'm getting little hints of the uh, popcorn now. It's mostly stout. Got a bit of a ginger head on it. Very ginger. So we should be expecting some uh, fresh popcorn. Strong coffee, chocolate. Wow. A lot of coffee. That's like the, a rich, rich coffee. A lot of sweetness. So yeah, you're getting fucking sweet popcorn straight off the bat, and then it just finishes up with a dark chocolate coffee. You know that bitter, that pleasant bitterness you get from both of those things? Mmm. That's really nice. That's really, really nice. Oh, strong. Quite a strong flavour. Not getting, uh, not an alcohol flavour in there. Doesn't taste of alcohol. Oh, that's nice. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, dark as you like there. There's not much more I can say about it. It's, it's bloody beautiful, and as always with what Tiny Rebel have said, is on the tin. Is how it fucking tastes. Coffee, popcorn, stout. And that's what you get in there. With a little cheeky bit of chocolate in there. It says Belgian chocolate. I don't know whether it's Belgian or not. Let's see. <laughs> it fucking is Belgian. You should have heard what it said to me. A load of stuff in Belgian. I actually think this would be absolutely perfect for when you're wandering around Tesco. And you've gone in looking for beef. And you go over to the sort of meat section. And you're... 
peering around and you see you got okay we got pork got lamb oh i can see the chicken there is that turkey mince oh wonder what that would be like probably wouldn't have much of a flavor like, mm. okay what's that over there sausages there's bacon where's the beef where the fuck and you're, you're looking everywhere you pull out your beef noculars you fucking you just can't see beef anywhere and there's a big empty fridge section and you're thinking that's probably where the beef should actually be so you go over to a member of staff and you're like is there beef is there beef and they're like uh yeah there should be beef and they take you over to the beef section where the beef is normally kept and they're like oh they must have moved things around i can't see the beef and you're like oh god what the fuck you give them the beef noculars and they're looking they're like i can't see the beef anywhere and you're like oh, what the fuck you reach into your bum bag, take out your tiny rebel, 11th birthday, coffee and popcorn, slow drip stout. You have a little fucking swig. Mmm. That's when you realise you've been bloody using your beef noculars backwards. You put your fucking beef noculars on. Beef as far as the eye can see. Walk over, you get your beef, you take it home. <sighs> Oh, beef for dinner. <laughs> beef for dinner. Well, what's he like? <laughs> I can eat a lot of beef. I find it a bit heavy. It tends to form like a solid ball in my stomach. And then when I go to bed, I'm just laying there fucking... I'm not getting any sweet... I'm not getting any sweet sleep. I just get really fucking sweaty instead. Might drift off to sleep eventually, but then tend to wake up an hour later. And I can't tell whether I'm going to be sick or whether I really need to poo, but it's right in the fucking middle, so I don't eat a lot of beef. Tiny Rebel, 11th birthday, coffee and popcorn, slow drip stout, coming in at a 10%, absolutely gorgeous. It's one of those things I know I'm probably not going to have it again, which is a bit of a shame, but um, I'm going to give you an 8.4 out of 10. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Take care out there. There's a lot of fucking weirdos.